What is up, YouTube? It's Isaiah Malone Son with a shaved head. All right. Um, what makes a real man? What really makes you a man at the end of the day? Is it age? Is it your ability to provide for yourself? What is it? You know, because nobody taught me how to be a man. I had to learn that myself. My dad didn't teach me. My mom didn't teach me. My cousins, brothers, nobody taught me how to be a man. I had to learn that on my own very recently, right? I had to learn what being a man was about around the age of 24. It's when I started, I decided I was going to teach myself to be what nobody ever taught me how to be. And so... You know, I'm still figuring out, right? I'm still becoming a man, right? Um, age does not make you a man. They have 14-year-old boys who are men. More of a man than a than a 30 or 40-year-old would ever be, right? They have 40-year-olds who are still boys, right? Just because you age, that doesn't make you a man. So in this video... I just kind of want to talk about, I, I was in deep thought, you know, earlier, but I've been on my journey, self-improvement journey, getting closer to God, my spiritual journey, financial journey, all that. And throughout the whole process, I'm molding myself. I'm always molding myself, still molding myself into a man and the man I want to become, the man that God wants me to be. And so there's two, I, I believe that there's two things that really define a man, okay? Some people would uh, determine it by other things, right? Riches or, or, or money, uh, status, respect from other people. Um, your ability to provide for yourself or the, the ability to protect yourself in situations. And that's cool. I get where they're coming from. But look at it from a human perspective. So we live, me especially, like we live in a Western society, right? If you're watching this video nine times out of 10, you're in America, right? And in America, right or in england or whatever just a western culture those things are kind of pushed on us to make us think that's what a man is someone with money status resources things like that um but t take your western lenses off of your eyes and think about the people in the other parts of the world just watch maybe a few documentaries on people who actually lives in the slums of like Haiti or the slums of Africa, people who live in huts, people who, who live, you know, there, there are cultures where people have nothing. There are cultures where people live on like islands, like isolated islands. Like some people don't use technology, you know, the Amish, right? Um, there are more ways to life than just the Western culture. And so across all cultures and as a human, I thought that it what really makes you a man comes down to two things. And that's honor and integrity. That's it. Part of me wanted to say respect. But I really had to think about that. Some of the most manliest men that I know, the manliest men that I could think of, the manliest men in history, they get disrespected all the time. So what makes you a man is not what's outside of you. And respect is one of those things that is outside of you that at the end of the day, it's not really in your control. You can, to a certain degree, demand respect when you walk into a room, but at the end of the day, it's on them or whether or not they want to respect you. Yeah, you could be the toughest, biggest guy, but what are you to like an army of a hundred men? You know, so respect is, 
respect is subjective but i feel like honor and integrity is objective every person right there's objective truths in in the universe and i feel like every person when you live with when you live up to your moral code of what you know is right and what your heart what your heart and your spirit tells you is right that's what makes you a man not the money not the resources not the respect from other people not the status and the hierarchy none of that there are people who are the alphas right people who live in tribes right people who live in like real huts like real mud huts and and they live in they have a tribe a culture like they still have hunter gatherers whatever that alpha is the alpha because he has integrity and honor if he if he if he really is going to be a lasting alpha of that group he has to live with honor and integrity the second that anybody sniffs that he's not integral they're going to overthrow him he that's how, and that's a big part of being respected as well. Yeah, you could be feared, but when you're really respected, people really respect you. They don't mess you over, not because they fear you, but because they they, uh, they genuinely respect you as a man. It's because they know you have integrity and honor. And you do the right thing. You look out for people. And I just, I just wanted to say that because there's a lot of I feel like there's a lot of propaganda pushed on young men today and I was a victim of it too or I was yeah I I was uh subject to all that stuff you know like like red pill and 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 all this all that stuff right that's teaching you to you should sleep with as many women as possible just so you could know what a good woman is that's brainwashing, bro. That's propaganda. I see what they're saying. I understand what they're saying. I get it. But bro, not every woman is a whore. Yes, a majority, I think that a majority of Western women are whores, right? Or at least they were at one point in their life. What does that have to do with you being having integrity and honor? Why do you have to partake in the degeneracy just because everybody else is doing it? Like, all of these red pill passport bros, I get it. Like, I get it and I understand it. But it's pushing a narrative that makes men, young men, who are not even real men yet, be hyper-focused on women. Stop being hyper-focused on women as a man. And it's so easy to get caught up in that mindset of like, I want women, I want women, I want a woman too. I want to prove my status by women, by, by having multiple women. I want to, I want to look max. I want to be as attractive as possible so I can get with all these girls. And it's like, bro, it is an empty, like, it's it's just empty. Like, getting women, it's like drugs or something. It's like, it's pointless. And it's being pushed on men, bro. All these dating podcasts, bro. And they say, oh, it's harder for men. It's harder for men. Yeah, it's harder for men. Stop focusing on it. What are you going to do? What are you going to get? All these dating podcasts are doing is just shining more light on OnlyFans models and, and degenerate women. Stop being so hyper-focused on uh, women. I, I, just, I just wanted to say that is, is that there is propaganda out there that just pushes like you have to have as many women as possible. You have to be as rich as possible. You have to be as buff as possible to be looked at as a high value man. And I think that's a 100% lie. Should you be as strong as possible? Yes. Should you have as many resources as possible? Yes. Should you 
if it's meant for you, if you think it's meant for you, find the love of your life and be married and have a family, absolutely. But that shouldn't be, you shouldn't be hyper-focused on, because it's not even about finding the love of your life. It's about sex. Everything is about sex and money. And that's wrong, bro. Yes, don't get me wrong. Humans are meant to be with each other and you should strive to be the best version of yourself you can physically, mentally, financially, and spiritually. Um, but being so, uh, what's the word? Materialistic or hedonistic. It's not it, bro. It's not it. I know I show a lot of money. Um, just because I'm proud of my achievements. And I want to help other people to make as much money as possible. But it's not to be hedonist, hedonistic. That's not my message. That's not what I stand for. And I just want to know that the one thing that makes you a man, whether you're in America, out of America, right? Any country, any continent that you're in. It's about two things, honor and integrity. And you have those things by doing what you know is right. Everybody has an objective moral compass that they are born with. And somewhere along the line, it gets skewed by all of the stuff that is pushed on us as kids. But now it's our responsibility to undo all the damage from the world that has been pushed on us. Find out who we are and and create the, a new version of ourselves that has integrity and honor, who lives by integrity and honor. And I think that's a major business lesson you'll learn as well. Like, don't form business relationships off of money. You do it for the relationship. Money will come from it. Don't chase money for the sake of money. Be the best version that you could be. And money will come to you. That's just how it is. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make that video. That's what really makes a man. Someone who has integrity and honor. That's a fact. No amount of women will make you feel any better about yourself. No amount of sleeping with any w women, however many women you choose to sleep with, it will not make you any more of a man. I, I, and I see so many people who are like 30, 40 years old, or any age, 20 years old, any age, and they have all the money, all the women, all the drugs in the world, and they commit suicide and they're, and they're hopeless. It's, it's always wise that before you get money, you build a foundation. You build a foundation, a solid foundation of who you are and what you stand for. And I try every day. I'm not perfect, but I try every day to make the foundation that I stand on, Jesus Christ. And I know I'm a hypocrite 90% of the time, it feels like, probably 99% of the time. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a lukewarm Christian and I don't do what is right and I don't do what Jesus would want me to do. But I try my best to be that version that Jesus wants me to be and have him as my foundation for every decision I make. I, tr I try to strive for it every day. Some days I win, some days I lose. But... I'll never, I'll just never give up, right? I'll never give up on trying to be as integral as possible and honorable as possible. So that's just my thoughts on that, on what makes a real man. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I really want to know um, your thoughts, bro. Like, let me know, like, do you think something else makes you a man? Do you think I was wrong about anything? Um, do you agree with some of the things I was saying? Let me know in the comments. I really, 
I really want to know what you guys think about this. So, um, yeah, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. You know what to do.